Greetings viewers and welcome back. Here we are in my least favorite portion of the game. It's just, you'll, you'll kind of understand if you're not familiar with it. I am glad that I have my mask though. This is the first time since I have ever played this game that I actually was managed to keep it. So that is a win. You guys are witnessing history here. Uh-oh. And I'm being irresponsible and not searching for loot properly. What's up with that? There we go. We still got Russell's bottle of vodka here, and by the time this is over, if we, uh, well, we probably shouldn't need a healing syringe. The only real enemy here is Jeff, and there he is right there. Jeff, right, watch this. See, he's totally predictable, but he will rip your arms off if he finds you. So yeah, that's Jeff. He spews spores, so if you're close to him and you don't have a mask or you don't cover your mouth, you cough. And if he touches you, it's instant death. Shooting him does nothing. Blowing him up with grenades does nothing. He's basically invincible and he hears everything. So you kind of throw objects to distract him, get his attention elsewhere and kind of maneuver around the best that you can. Not, uh, again, not exactly my favorite. See, and then they do stuff like that where they set you up just to have him come over and try and mess you up. It's kind of rude, actually. But, beat it before, we'll do it again. We'll make the best out of it. And uh, hopefully we will win. Sometimes it's fun to just mess with him just because you can. Other times it's actually necessary. Hey, hey, those things are nasty. You gotta cover your mouth. Got it. Thanks. Hey, I, I almost forgot. What's your name? Alex. Alex Vance. Hey, Alex. I'm Larry. Nice to meet you. Try not to get killed. So... Oh, okay. Okay, we'll do. Never heard that last bit before. Usually I'll come in here because I'm wearing a hard hat and he'll be like, hey, nice helmet. I'm pretty sure his has spikes on it, I'm assuming for the head crabs. But he just told you a piece of crucial information if you weren't aware coming to this part. He said, nice mask, it'll come in handy for this. If you lose it, cover your mouth. See, so right now I can stand in this and I'm fine. Of course you do. So. Again, this will be the first time I'm not having to cover my mouth, which hopefully will make navigating a little bit easier as long as I don't accidentally knock it off without paying attention. And that's probably what this is here for, to try and get you to fail. I am not about to lose my mask this uh, far in the game, literally. Half-digested head crabs. They kind of give you this as an idea of how to operate those doors. Comes in handy later. All right, let the fun begin. Those things are annoying. I mentioned those previously. Stuff like that. Thanks, devs. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and save it. I'm gonna be doing a lot of saving in this section. Hopefully, that I, if I remember, I'm gonna get go ahead and get down now. Thank you. 
piece of resin. He is kind of pre-programmed to come to certain areas, though. Whew. Again, not a huge fan of this board. You gotta be really sneaky because any little thing you do, he will hear it and he will come wreck your cheeks. Basically, he'll just run over and vomit all over you like he did that head crab and it's instant death. There's no, there's no getting away from it. You cannot spin this wheel fast enough if you do not lock him in there. They do that on purpose. The very first time I ever did this section, it took me forever to figure that out. I kept trying to just throw stuff over there and distract him and spin the wheel and you cannot move it fast enough, guaranteed. I don't care how many times you spin it. And don't think that uh, we're quite done with Jeff yet. It ain't that easy. get away from him. Yeah, that's not going to piss him off, right? Gee, I wonder where these wires go. Oh, look at that. They go back in the room where Jeff is. Mmm. And it's even darker now. How about that? Oh, but we have our flashlight finally. Um, let's set this down so it doesn't break. And uh, phase one of like nine is complete. So let's help ourselves out in case we fudge up. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we can't lock ourselves in this room. These freaking things. That's a speaker. We do not want that going off. I think I did that the very first time too. Not a uh, not a good idea. Cause that'll start going and draw him in here where you don't want him to be while you're here. In this small enclosed space.
All right. So we have a little bit of a breather for a second. He can't quite get here. These all look like uh, oh, antlion parts in. to me. Hey, Alex. Oh, there you are. Anybody knows what those look like? You're breaking up. I think you're still in the distillery. I need a friend named Jeff. Well, that's great. We can take all the help we can get. <laughs> yeah, we're not really close. Listen, there should be a big tunnel-sized plug in the floor there somewhere. That's going to be... The tunnel out of here? Correct. You get it open, I'll figure out where it leads. Even if it made noise, it wouldn't matter. But I was thinking there was a bottle in there for some reason. It was just a head crab. Probably to make you scared when you pop it open and it comes tumbling out, if I had to guess. Onward we go. More fun in the sun with Jeff. It's really gonna be useless for us. Thanks, little snap trap guys. Appreciate you. Well, while we're safe and we've made it to the next section, we're gonna save. With those machines that were out there, there were three little sections. We've gotta get three different power cores that are all in this area down here. Of course, we can't just stay up here all day.
Da. And there we go. Alright, again, we have uh, just a second here to breathe. Not enter death or dismemberment may occur. What's this do? Oh no! is brutal. Oof. I'm pretty sure he'd be more smushed than that, but you know, we got it done. And look, they gave us some masks at the end. So now the remainder of the game, the mask is not really needed for anything other than if you want to keep up with it, it's kind of annoying again because it falls off your face at random inopportune times. But so far, this is the only part of the game that I'm aware of where it actually has some sort of valid function. I feel like there it is. I think there was more than that. Look at that, 44. Holy cow, we got so much resin. And I'm gonna guess we need 45 for our next good upgrade. I don't remember what uh, the count was. But we are on to the next section Whoa, now. What and I... did you do to Jeff? Yeah, I trapped Jeff in a trash compactor and then I crushed him. God damn. Well, I, uh, I hope you came across some of the good stuff. See you around. Hi. Okay, Thanks for coach, not helping coach. at all. Time to get that plug open so we can get through those tunnels. I forgot Jeff messed with the machine. Punching the heck out of it and busted it. That's a big door. Good news. That tunnel heads to the vault. Great. Also, a little heads up. I think the tunnel is full of ant lions. Just in case I cut out permanently. Ant lions. Ant lions. Ant lions. Uh... Yeah, you know, aliens with stabby legs. Oh yes, uh, and very small, like ants. No. I uh, like tiny little lions. No, that's not them. <laughs> These ones are pretty dangerous. Right, uh, well, whatever they are, they're down that tunnel. Yep, off I go. Old 19-year-old girl gonna save the world by herself. Thanks, Russ. Oh, okay, and then the door's just gonna magically close itself. Great, thanks. So I'm... I purposely kept quiet through that section just because a little bit more dramatic effect. It's really not that spooky. It's just kind of annoying having to keep track of Jeff and everything you do. 
makes something fall, or he bumps into a piece of trash and it flings a bottle across the room which smashes near you. So you didn't even do anything and he's already on you again and you gotta keep moving. But once you know the, uh, the drill and where everything is and what to do, it makes it a little bit easier. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed our little foray with Jeff there. We have run out of time, so I am gonna call this episode here if you've made it this far. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel the need to do. As always, I am open to constructive criticism or feedback. If there's anything I can do to make my videos better for you, please feel free to let me know. So with that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode.